This game week was so close to be one of my best game weeks ever. Uh, so many of the new signings did extremely, extremely well. Uh, I will first go through the lineups and then, of course, open the rewards. We, of course, also have some reward boxes which are brand new, which will also be very exciting to see if they're any good or not. Uh, but yeah, we can just jump right into it. And starting off, we have Cap 240 Rare, four points away from um, getting the threshold. And by the way, I will go very, very fast through the lineup, so don't worry about that. Um, yeah, the big down uh, side here was of course Subeldia, keeping clean sheet but not getting any more than 38.8 points, very very disappointed by Subeldia, and the rest didn't do too bad. David Marshall with a penalty saved in the 3-1 loss. Jane Sancho did very very good in my opinion against Bayern München and also Porto Widen assist. The new signing paid off and Facundo Pellistri got benched, so this was very unfortunate. No threshold here. Challenger Classic season, this was the throwaway lineup and uh, Ian Nacho didn't start. Uh, yeah, here we have the uh, Collection to Glory lineup, we will just cross that out because I will most likely make a video specifically about that. Uh, champion in season rare, uh, yeah, this was also very painful. Lukas Krupski got benched, uh, surprisingly. To a degree, I know that Motta really likes to rotate, and this week Skorupski was on the bench. But yeah, yet again, I was a little bit lucky that I didn't use him in my most priority lineup, which was the discussion before the um, before the deadline. Um, but talking about uh, new signings paying off, we have Vincent Siero with a 90 pointer. So happy for him; he has been very good recently, and we signed him. Uh, and it's so so. Uh, good to see your players delivering right after signing them. Uh, this day, same with Angelo Stilli. I've had him for a little while, but still a 100 pointer. So glad to see him hitting uh, those type of scores. This is yeah, the, the big, big upset here. Uh, 32 points in a 5 2 victory, and also uh, 10 minus because of two big chance missed, which isn't great. Valmar Anton also a very, very good AA game, considering he conceded three goals. This team could have been special, but of course, Gorupski got benched, so I'm not too unhappy with Ben Yedder doing very, very poorly. Let's move up, and we have the Premier League uh, team. Uh, yeah, those players here didn't do too great. Uh, a lot of mediocre here, and of course, Ganacho blanking. Uh, Premier League in season rare, this was the second team, nothing too great here, Veran got an injury and only 50 points away actually, this, it was a very low scoring game in the Premier League, so unfortunate that uh, my match United boys couldn't have been doing better. Uh, Challenger Classic, this is the first like real reward of this game week and I'm so happy for my lesser boys, uh, having a little bit of a redemption arc after that very very bad loss to Bristol. Mm. Also Daniel Iverson with a clean sheet which we, which we love and also Daniel James scoring a late minute, uh, a last minute winner, I think that's right, uh, from 50 yards out. That was incredible. What a goal. I'm so happy for him. Hopefully he's finally back to his old, not his old self, but he, had, uh, he has had a little bit of a bad run with Wales of course. And then the last game he didn't do too great, but now uh, I think he was pretty fresh and hopefully he can keep up that type of performances. And also of course I need to give it. Quick shout out to Duisburg Hall for getting a goal and assist. I think he's also back to his old self. Uh, let's move up and another DNP crisis, you can call it, with Victor Kristiansen Victor getting benched, which is the greatest. But let's look at it from a positive side. We get uh, enough to actually win something, uh, and the price up is only zero point. 0 0.01 Ethereum more, so it wouldn't have mattered too much, but still it's pretty annoying. I think Victor Kristiansen would have been done, uh, we've been doing pretty great uh, in that matchup against San Martina. Uh, but yeah, as I said, let's look at it from the bright side. Steve Mandanda, good AA game. Salamakers with an incredible score of 91 points. He is also a new signing. Ritsu Duan is a new signing with 70 points, incredible from him as well. Jonas win with an assist, he came on and did great. Uh, for decisives from uh, for uh, of our new players, you couldn't ask for much more, in my opinion. Very, very disappointed by Victor Christiansen, but still, um, I will definitely take this. Uh, and yeah, let's move on to Challenger in season, where we had uh, the new Norwich boys, which we signed before the deadline, and they did win us the lowest uh, target when it comes to the money. Only 306 points, but it was enough. Daniel Bachmann with also a good AA game. Mm, hopefully he can keep having those and hopefully get a clean sheet soon. But now we have the big one. 
And this was so close to being a huge lineup. Uh, first of all, Chris Fiedrich blanked. He let the team down so, so big time. He had a big chance missed, which ruined the team. Uh, we could just show it here. Yeah, big chance missed. Uh, and yeah, still this team did very, very great. I have talked about why I shouldn't have played this team in this division, Division 1, because if I would have played it in another division, I would have earned more money, but I won't talk too much about that. Uh, Alex Demir will clean sheet, as I mentioned. Mittelstad with a 93rd minute assist. Assist to Dennis Undav, which scored to make it 3 3, and also Sergio Girassi uh, with a goal, uh, which is very, very nice. And uh, yeah, so happy with this team finally performing the Stuttgart boys, and of course, Alex Ramiro, the Real Sociedad defensive stack or defensive goalkeeper. I'm so glad I didn't go for Nubel, I was so close to purchase him in uh, before uh, the deadline. But I didn't because I think he's too expensive, it's too much uncertainty and he can make those errors uh, more consistently than a rock solid keeper like Alex Remiro. And uh, yeah, I'm so excited for the rewards, we can see here we have a tier 3, but keep in mind we have also reward boxes, which will be incredible. Let's go over here, we have 10 rewards to claim, incredible stuff, I'm so excited. Uh, let's go. Let's start off with the soul coins, here we can see it will be 1100, let's start with champion in season rare. Uh, the money, 51 euro here, incredible. And here we have the challenger in season with the Norwich boys and of course Daniel Bachmann, 23 euros, very nice. Champion in season rare, this is uh, yeah the Stuttgart boys and Alex Remiro, very very nice. Okay, so we have champion classic limited. I think I will make a collection to glory video, so I think I will open these two boxes here in that video. I think that video will also come out tomorrow, so if you want to watch that video, that would be much appreciated. But now we have three boxes, and all of them are from classic season, and I think we're in division two, so I think the boxes are pretty good. And, with, and of course it's three different boxes. So let's start off with this one. Come on, how is the animation? What what is should I just click it here? What is happening? Why can't I open it? Am I missing something? Why can't I open it? Hello? I I, I have no idea what is happening. How do I, where do I find these boxes? Because now I just see yeah I know I got those type of boxes and yeah it says here it's division two, but how do I like open them and claim them? I'm still not 100% by the way, but uh, yeah, three reward boxes to open, okay. Open now. Okay, now it's now it's going. Okay, the first one. Okay, this is exciting. So you need to open it uh, or like redeem it and then open it afterwards. Okay, the first one. Come on, please, a card. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, it's an upgrade, level up. Like that is, you will get that in 95% of the cases, I think. Uh, so uh, that is... Something that is expected, but it will be very fun to get the card. Come on, another level up. But if you get like 10 or 15 reward boxes, the chance of you actually getting a card is actually not that low. Uh, so it's like 50 50, I think. So the last one, another upgrade. Okay, so I have actually a 15% chance of getting a card, but I have, of course, level ups that I can use on some of my players, so I can't complain too much about that, of course it would have been very nice to get something else in terms of cards and etc, but we will move and now this is the tier 3 and this is very important for me because I need another championship player ideally, because of course the next game week running up, so I just hope for that, please something decent, uh, and yeah, 3 to one let's go. Uh, USA, that is not a good forward, oh I thought, ooh, it's from... I thought it was Jesus Ferreira, but I think he's a lot better than a tier 3. It's a new... <coughs> I'm sorry guys, I need to just drink, mm, drink some water. Um, okay, so he is a new season card from the MLS, which is very, very nice. Does he start is the question, I hope you do. Dante Sealy. Dante Sealy, okay. Uh, he, let's look at his scores. Okay, so he starts... His scores aren't that impressive, to be fair, but still, he is he has played his last one, two, three, four, five games, which is very, very nice uh, in terms of his price. In rare, okay, let's check. He is going for 
Uh, okay, so that isn't too bad. 28 euros, I would definitely take that. And um, I think his, I think it's a little bit of a difference between his new season card and his old season card. Um, if we scroll down here, we can see that, yeah, his auction, his 2024 card is going for around 30 euros. I can't complain about that too much. And when we go to his fixtures, we can check his upcoming fixtures. It's against St. Louis, Seattle Sounders and Colorado. One question I do have is that, does he play in the Challenger region or Contender region? Or, or of course he plays in the Challenger region because it's a Challenger reward, yeah, it's a Challenger reward. Okay, so that makes sense. So he's a Challenger player, so I could actually use him. But in terms of his scores, they doesn't give me too much confidence. I may sell him. I think I will sell him. Uh, do you guys know anything about this guy? He's, uh, he has a long contract. Or does he have a long No, he doesn't have a long contract. That is very bad. Um, he of course, I don't know anything about him. I need to do some research about him, but do you know anything about him? Please leave it in the comments so I can take that into consideration. Um, yeah, I can't complain too much about that. It's a tier 2 at the end of the day. Uh, and yeah, uh, I will actually take that. And what did you get in your rewards? Please leave that in the comments. And uh, I don't think I have enough time in today's video to go through the lineups. Of, or do you know what? I can do it very, very quick. Let's go very fast through the lineups for this midweek in specific. And we are currently in first, actually, in uh, the Champion in Season Limited. This is, of course, the Collection to Glory team, which is very nice. Hopefully, uh, Newcastle can keep a clean sheet, which I doubt they will do, but you never know. And yeah, this is a lineup that haven't been doing too great, because Joe Willock, of course, is a substitute. Oh my god, Wolves can't keep a clean sheet to save their life, that is annoying. Uh, but this is the first team, so I, th I guess it's okay. This is the champion in season rate team, and um, yeah, this is the second choice team. But I play them in Division 1 because uh, it's harder to get rewards there, in my opinion. Uh, but if you do well, of course, you will earn more if you win second, third, and etc. But I don't think this team have a realistic shot of coming close to first place when we have Manchester United away against Chelsea and... Um, yeah, we can just scroll down so you can see this team as well. And this uh, down here is the collection team, actually. This is uh, a team, or Gvangu is a team that I have collected for a long time, and hopefully they can do well. Just going up here very fastly, we can see the champion in season rare. We have, uh, of course, the match night boys against, away against Chelsea. Don't have too much expectations there, uh, but that is my midweek teams, and I will catch you next one. Bye bye, and take care. Peace.